often play a married couple. Um, both of them have a love of aviation. Uh, my character, play guy called Gordo Stevens. Um, I like to look at him as someone that uses adrenaline to sort of quiet his mind. Um, and then he kind of leans on the bottle a little, doesn't make the best choices as a result of it, uh, gets married, has children, and then you see, you know, we sort of pick up with him as an astronaut, so he's sort of at the peak of his, his career. Um, and then the repercussions of that, you know, like his wife, Tracy, um, played by Sarah, uh, has sort of had to put her hopes and dreams at bay in order for him to sort of to champion her. And so you sort of see in that, in that world where you're in the public eye, there's a lot of, you know, discord because of it, and then the story, the story plays on between the, the lovers. Yeah, um, Tracy, I would, I would say, is a uh, a reluctant housewife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's certainly a reluctant astro wife because that's that's just an entirely different beast altogether. Um, and I think she sort of skirts the moon doing the bare minimum of what's socially required of her. Uh, and she does it. She does it. You know, <clears throat> Tracy and, and Gordo are a very functionally dysfunctional unit. Yeah. Um, There's a lot of color. Yeah. 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 I mean, they're, they're, like they're there for each other, and also they are. Yeah. Uh, so so they actually they actually have a very close relationship. They they yeah. you know, um, and so they make decisions together. But you know, you might notice very quickly that um, Gordo might take advantage of, of that, that 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 communication that they have and that, that support that he gets. Yeah. Yeah, he's a little lost. Oh, yeah. 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 But so yeah, so so that's sort of the setup. That's the beginning of their season. Okay, so what is being the wife of Ash actually really into the Well, uh, I think for, for both myself and Tracy, it, it felt a little um, um, separate wife. Um, a lot of double standards where, where the men behave a certain way and it's covered, but the women are expected to, to um, project affection and a, um, a social order, um, the ideal housewife, home, family life, the traditional, yes, um, and, um, and no end quote, knowing their place. Uh, and, and that that is that's a bit of a struggle for Tracy. She knows how to do it. And she, like I said, she'll she'll, she'll handle the bare minimum of it of what's required of her. But you know, you, you sort of quickly, or at least I did, and when we started, she's definitely the outcast of of this little community, and and she. She might even get away with a little more because her husband is uh, such a hot shot at the point star in terms of being a national thing. Yeah, she's like the advocate for change. Yeah. It's really cool to watch. It's the ultimate history thing because obviously things are changing compared to our real history. The fact that it's changed has that affected the astral life's role or anything because things are changing in, in a different direction. That's, that would be a, a question that I would have to respond with you about. <laughs> but it's good stuff. I mean, it's Ron Moore, so it's worth watching. You know what I mean? You know, like, nothing ever, you know, that's something I love about Ron's writing and his storytelling is that it's never, you know, you say, oh, it takes place here. 
and it's not about that. You know, there's always something else that it's, you think it's about one thing, but then Ron decides to talk about something completely different, but using this sort of extraordinary circumstance to have discussions about everyday, ordinary things that every single person can relate to. Yeah, that's um, correct. That's right. Yeah. So, it'll be worth your watch, but... Uh, All right, I'll watch it. All right, thanks. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Is that what you think drew you to it? Like Ron's, the fact that it was being made by Ron? Um, that certainly was, was a draw. That was certainly a draw. Um, I was actually, I was, I was a bit concerned at first when, when I read the first couple of scripts because it was, they really take, in the first two episodes, they take their time setting up the atmosphere and the environment of, of the world that you're in and then and three just sort of launches into into the action and the drama of it all. But they really take their time setting it up. So I had only, only read the first couple of scripts when it was and I was kind of nervous at first because they really take their time. Um, but then, Ron Moore, you know, you just you can't say You can't say So, and I'm glad I did. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Yeah.